So good morning. I'm here with Brian Berenger from FedEx. He just got off the E2 conference um, keynote stage. So I'm here to ask him a few more questions about his talk today. Okay. So thank you, Brian. Um, your talk was mostly about gamification. Right. But one of the things you mentioned is that that's a tricky term to implement or introduce to the enterprise. How is it different from, from straight out collaboration or is a new term necessary? I, I believe at least a new term is necessary to explain the traditional term, right? Mm -hmm. So gamification, just the term itself has the word gaming in it, uh, and it has come to being over time through the gaming industry. Uh, that's where gamification came from, about unlocking new levels and new features and everything else. When you're talking about the new enterprise and trying to implement new collaborative solutions, you should utilize gamification as a program to help with building out collaboration. So it's part and parcel of the same thing, but one really is a tool to use to help the other one, gamification, helping growing collaboration. So when you're talking about being in a new enterprise, the idea around games mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily resonate yeah. very quickly with the average team member. So you have to uh, kind of come up with new terms. Um, you know, the, we just don't even call it by anything at FedEx. We just say the badge program. Okay. And everybody kind of understands what we're talking about here, how you earn badges. Mm -hmm. um, that's also a term that they can see out in the general population in general world as well about badges and flair. We're all used to these different things. So Definitely. Uh, we just try to avoid those kind of key terms. We also avoided the word social, to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. uh, okay. Because uh, we want to key up on the word collaborate, not spending time talking about basket weaving and stuff like that. So, so you, Basket the, weaving has its place. It does. It does. You have those terms that you have to kind of be careful of mm -hmm. in the new enterprise, right, of mm -hmm. trying to grow from a, something that's been in business for 40 or 50 years, for sure. Got it. Yeah, no, and I know you mentioned it, FedEx is from very traditional roots. It is. Um, so another question I had is about how your team integrates with the IT departments, with HR, legal, the lines of business. Yep. How do you manage those relationships? Yeah, well, actually, my team is in IT. I'm, okay. I'm a manager inside of IT uh, just because we felt that would give it the best direction to actually build out the solution and the software. Mm -hmm having someone who had the experience in social collaboration and networking and everything else and building these tools to come in and kind of run from IT. But we did it with a absolute partnership. I mean, it was in a very explicit relationship between our corporate communications departments, okay. marketing, finance uh, a little bit, but on the finance and accounting side just to make sure we're hitting all the, the areas we need to do. But mostly on the legal and HR side, I mentioned it in my presentation yeah. that if you don't have the business, as we call it, you know, business IT, how it traditionally is, but if you don't have the business side, you know, keenly aware of what you're doing, mm -hmm. but also so you can get a better understanding of how to communicate and what areas you need to penetrate and help with working out the governance with legal organizations yeah. and everything else. So we are IT in the business, but we are very, very closely aligned and have a great partnership. Um, it's almost like we're in neither department. We're in our own little department. Actually, we're about to employ or deploy our own little group called the Purple Hub Service Center that's going to be outside of IT and outside of okay. business and everything else, just solely focused on our collaborative solution. Fantastic. So we're looking forward to that. That makes sense, too, with your background being both in and out of IT, that you're leading this charge. That's kind of why I came in, because I could bridge the gap a little bit, mm -hmm. and kind of know what everybody's talking about, at least enough to be dangerous. Um, but uh, yeah, it works out well. Good. And I had a question about the tool or collaboration, mm -hmm. gamification being used worldwide because FedEx is so large and has right. employees all over the world. Do you have to keep that in mind and modify the actual platform in order to be most attractive to employees around the world? Yeah, localization is huge. Um, we, because we're in 220 different countries, mm -hmm. and we have, I mean, it's, it's 20 to 30 just main languages. There's a lot of sub-languages and everything yeah. else that we have to... Uh, you know, make sure that we respond to for our, our team members, but also our customers. So we have this culture of uh, of making sure that we're very globalized and, and mm -hmm. localized. Um, it's no different. You have games that you would employ as far as gamification goes and badges and different things, and those might mean totally different things in Asia or than it does in Europe or that it does in the United States. So once again, this is a big reason to get corporate communications and HR mm -hmm. and legal involved because they understand and they have counterparts in all those different areas. Uh, to understand how the words you use and the methods that you use and the, even the imagery that you use, how it's going to resonate around the world. So it, we do have to pay very close attention to that as well. We want them to adopt the model as much as we want to adopt the model. Yeah, well, that must be a fascinating process. It's, uh, some days, I f that's a great word for it. Other <laughs> days, the word aggravating probably comes to mind more than anything else, but frustrating. But yeah. 
at, at the end of the day, no matter how you start it off, it's, we, I, I, my team knows that we're going to be changing the face mm -hmm. of FedEx from a, uh, a, to a very collaborative solution, and uh, we're, we're real happy about that. That's great. Um, so one last question, and okay. I know this is your first time at E2, yep. um, but what are you hoping to gain from being here this week or interacting with attendees? Um, a few things. I mean, one th one part of it me is to kind of impart other understanding and understanding and knowledge about what some companies are doing in enterprise space, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's kind of why I kind of reached out to Paige um, of saying, you know, if there's an opportunity, I would like to to talk and present and do different things around how large enterprises uh, implement these kind of solutions. Mm -hmm. And then on the same side, I wanted to get that from other individuals as well. So interacting with the other keynotes and watching the sessions, going out on the floor and seeing the vendors and everybody and what they're working on. I've, you know, setting up a lot of meetings. Uh, it was great to be a part of this because they, it's easy to find you. So they found me yeah. to set up different meetings around you know, research and the enterprise space, both from a vendor, you know, there's vendors kind of coming at you trying mm -hmm. to sell their things, um, but also the analyst space and the other customers or people that are here, the, uh, you know, the attendees and talking with them about what they're doing, uh, you know, there's always knowledge to be shared. I, I, don't, uh, I don't hold all the knowledge by any stretch of the imagination. Moving so, so quickly. So. Right. So I think E2, or um, which I, I love the name change, by the way, uh, is, is, is really great. So I've been impressed so far, and I, I'm going to have a ne great next couple of days, I'm sure. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Let you get on with meeting with other people. That'd be great.